Hello Aries and welcome to Karma on Deck. I'm Karma of My Psychic One. We are going to do your reading for October 8th through October 14th for Aries. So let's take a look and see what's popping for you guys and what kind of energy we are pulling. Here we go Aries. First ones of the day. Are you ready for Mercury Retrograde at the end of the month? Ow! Okay. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> first thing for you, right out the gate, you have major cards. There is a lot of emotional energy that you're playing with right now. You have the Temperance card. The Temperance is one of those moments in our life where we spend time taking a good look at our own self. We look at our accountability, how we show up in our relationships. Um, our responsiveness to and with the spiritual world. Um, it's, it's a hard look in the mirror, right? It reminds me of one of my favorite quotes. If um, honesty is only brutal, if you don't like what you hear, if you don't look like what you hear, listen twice, right? So this is all about you going, hmm, I like or dislike these things about me. And let me take a really good look at how their, my behaviors are shaping my reality, shaping the relationships, my environment, my, my relationship with money. I'm seeing the Hierophant, and right now you are really going through a phase where you're learning these lessons and well. The Empress card next to all of that is telling me that you are having a protective, um, a protective um, look toward, you know, you're kind of covering your arms and your wings around um, your loved ones, your money, your home, your job. Like you're taking protective measures to guard, shield, protect your baby, your project, your family, your lover. Um, the Knight of Cups adjacent to that, though, is telling me that up and coming, you can expect to feel a little bit emotionally um, overwhelmed. You may be feeling deeper emotions or emotions are coming dredged up that are much deeper um, and, than you would normally see on the surface. And that sometimes can be a little bit difficult and overwhelming. Um, I have the Queen of Wands, too. Let's continue. So I do see some responsibility coming for you in work. In, um, use caution with um, analysis paralysis, Aries, because we have the two of wands. So if you're going between two ideas or if you're spending time in that stuck phase, because if you see here the Knight of Swords, he's got a blinder on. He's so overwhelmed by the activities, um, requirements, responsibilities, and things that are in front of him that he's feeling as if he's stuck. However, if you look, there's no lid on the box. You just have to look up a little higher, look a little further, look a little beyond, and perhaps even unplug a little bit. Because when we are so involved in a situation, we keep seeing the problem over and over and over again to the point where we can't see past it. So I'm seeing that decisions that are coming up for you, 10 of coins right here, um, that's helping you. You're tweaking your decisions as you go. And the nine of wands is telling me that you're really concerned about your foundation at this time. Your health is important to you right now. You're evaluating your work relationships and taking that on. You do have some expenses coming up, four of coins, which I see you looking to the heavens like, oh my God, how am I going to pull this off? Um, how am I going to make this happen? Um, where is this going to come from? So I see that you're kind of looking at looking for some solutions when it comes to money this upcoming week. I do feel like you're going to be busy at work. I am picking up the sun card. Things are going to return into balance. You have all the signs of the zodiac with this card, so it's not going to be something that's overwhelming, out of control, or feeling like it's not going to really come together because the sun card is telling me that it will balance out for you. It's just going to feel a little off to you. It's just like something's missing, something's not quite right. Um, I do see you leaving certain things behind. The Queen of Swords is telling me that you're beginning to take a good hard look at things that don't serve you anymore, whether that's the relationships that aren't any good for you, habits, activities, or um, even being like, even procrastination. I'm picking up that you haven't been um, really giving it the drive you know it, your life deserves. And I'm seeing that you're starting to leave certain things that are um, not alive or that don't bring you life behind you because the queen of swords has got a, a tree behind her and she's literally um, stopped watering a dead tree or walking away from something that's growing. So if you find yourself in hyper awareness of um, what's not good for you, and what no longer serves you, this whole energy is what we're playing with this during this week because these two cards together, temperance card right next to the queen of swords, you're beginning to evaluate what you need to leave behind and starting to take action on that because that's what the 10 of coins is, is that decision. So 
Um, I wouldn't worry too much about it, even though you're creating a little bit of internal stress about the decisions that you do have to make and what is on your mind. Okay, so that's it for you guys. I will pull a card from Divination of the Ancients for you and do a reading on that. If you want a reading from me, one-on-one -on -one with Karma at KarmaOnDeck.com, you can find me on My Psychic One almost anytime. But come see us there and stick around on the channel. We got Nam the Sockus Daily Astrology readings down the rabbit hole. And we have some other amazing talent coming up here on the live to look forward to. So stay tuned for that. Let me know if you have any feedback and let me know if there's anything to see more of on the channel. Meanwhile, let's pull a card for you from Divination of Dreams Incubation. Okay, so let's see how this plays out with um, the spread that we pulled for you. Okay, darling, here we go incubation so it says the answers you seek come to you in your dreams so i think this is referencing paying attention to your subconscious mind and really if you allow yourself to percolate to marinate to just trust your subconscious mind to come up with the solutions to when you go to bed at night and you tell your subconscious mind before you go to sleep like hey figure this out when i wake up let me shut down for a while i trust you handle it you will figure it out. It's a technique that I've been using lately and it's amazing because I don't have to think so hard. You know, we make things harder than they have to be. It says here, they are presented. So the answers you seek come to you in your dream. They are presented through images, stories, as well as visitations from deceased loved ones and from your guides. The superconscious and the subconscious is the place where spirit, the divine, can reach you when you're being too busy with 3D activities. Find solutions to your questions and evolve spiritually by practicing dream incubation. Before going to sleep, plant a mental intention that you will dream about a specific topic. <laughs> kind of the same of what I was talking. I don't say dream about a specific topic, but I definitely would tell my subconscious mind to handle that, right? Focusing your attention in this way will put you in charge of your dreams. As your sleeping consciousness becomes aware that you are dreaming, you are more able to manipulate imagery and experiences, change outcomes of your reality, and travel through the dimensions of the esoteric planes. Dreaming your dream. The incantation for this week for you, dear Aries. In and out, I gently drift. Dreams of senses, I slowly sift. Gods and queens <laughs> appear to me. Their messages now I clearly see. Love and light, beautiful people. Thank you for hanging out with me. I will see you guys next week. Catch me on the live. Catch me on my psychic one. I will see you next time. Blessings. To